Good morning, Jesse Clark. Today is Wednesday, October 19th. Today is Wellness Wednesday. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. The weather after school today will be 54 degrees, sunny with a cool breeze. And tomorrow morning at the bus stop, it will be cold, 29 degrees, cold and breezy. For lunch today, you have a choice of pizza or a deli wrap sandwich. You could, those come with corn, sweet potato fries, or your choice of fruit. Your other options are a yogurt and cheese plate or a chef salad. For lunch tomorrow, you have a choice of popcorn chicken or a pork barbecue sandwich. Those come with green beans, mashed potatoes, or a choice of fruit. If you are not interested in popcorn chicken or a pork barbecue sandwich, you could have a PB&J on Crestable or a chef salad. On our recent mental health survey, almost half the students at JCMS said that they could use some help managing stress and anxiety. So each Wellness Wednesday here on the Morning News, we will share a stress, stress management technique. Here's today's strategy. Hey guys, today we are going to discuss self-advocacy. Self-advocacy is the act of speaking up for yourself, making your own decisions, voicing your own opinions, asking questions, setting boundaries, and actively learning how to get information so that you can understand things better. Adults should assist in the teaching of self-advocacy skills as early as possible. They should talk with their students about their strengths and weaknesses and have ongoing conversations about learning and thinking differences. Adults should praise their students for speaking up and encourage them to ask for and use any forms of assistance that are available to them to improve their overall educational experience. While it is typical for your parents or guardians to advocate for you when you were in elementary and junior high, you can begin to practice and put self-advocacy skills into place once you enter high school. When advocating for yourself, it is important to always remain calm and be respectful. Also, when advocating for yourself, you want to be sure that you have valuable information to add to the conversation and that what you are presenting is applicable to the discussion and your overall well-being. Let's look at a scenario. Michelle is a 10th grade student at Wonder High School. After receiving notification of the classes she was projected to take for her 11th grade year, she scheduled to meet with her school counselor. Michelle informed the counselor that she would prefer to take an art class instead of the debate class she was placed in. Michelle shared her interests in art and explained why art would be a better choice for her. After listening, the counselor agreed to change her schedule. Both parties were very happy. Reflection. What does self-advocacy mean to you? Why do you think self-advocacy is important? Discuss a time in which you had to advocate for yourself. How did it go? Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Lessons for SEL, and be sure to follow us on social media. Hey, guys. Remember, today's schedule is that you go to first period, then your SEL class, then second period. Have a great Wellness Wednesday. Students, due to the EOS store being overwhelmed on Thursday afternoon, grade levels will now be assigned a week to go to the store on Thursday afternoons. This Thursday afternoon is for 6th graders, next Thursday is for 7th graders, and then the Thursday after that is for 8th graders. The EOS store can see your grade level, so if you're discovered shopping at a day that is not for your grade level, you will, be, you will lose the privilege of going to the store at all until after Thanksgiving break. And just a quick reminder, all students in all grades can shop on Tuesday mornings. The JCMS math team will compete at home tomorrow against Beaumont. The match starts here at JCMS at 4. Starts here at JCMS at 4.30. Good luck, Eagles. The JCMS Halloween dance is coming up. Here's a video with more information. The Scholastic It's time for our Halloween dance. Here at Jesse Clark, we have a Halloween dance every year and we want you to bring and wear your best costumes. Our Halloween dance will be on Friday, October 28th from 5.30 to 7.30. There is a $5 entry fee. Tickets will go on sale Monday, October 24th. You can purchase these by the cafeteria before school. You must keep your ticket if you purchase early. We will not give out replacement tickets. 
You can also buy tickets at the door, but we recommend buying early. Costumes are encouraged, but not required. No full or partial face masks. We must be able to tell who you are. School appropriate, please, or we'll ask you to go home to change. For concessions, cash only, please. We've got drinks, chips, candy, pizza, and Chick-fil-A sandwiches. So we hope to see you on October 28th for our Halloween dance. The Scholastic Book Fair is coming to Jesse Clark, October 21st through November 3rd. The fair will be open during Literacy, Arts, and Culture Night on November 1st as well. All language arts classes will be scheduled for a preview visit next week. Any questions about the book fair, please see Ms. Thomas in the library or your language arts teacher. Wildlife Club is back. Do you want to hang out, meet new friends, play games, go to Great Wolf Lodge, and hear about God? Then Wildlife Club is for you. Wild, wildlife meets this Thursday in Miss Hilbert's room. Everyone is welcome at Wildlife. Please remember, do not sorry. Remember, do not go to Miss Hilbert's room until general dismissal. ESS is back. Starting Monday, October seventeenth, Jesse Clark will be hosting ESS tutoring and homework help sessions. ESS is Jesse Clark's free tutoring service. ESS is where you go if you need assistance on catching up on missing assignments, studying for a test, working on a project, or you just need quiet space to work. Sessions will be Monday mornings, Monday afternoons, Wednesday mornings, Thursday mornings, and Thursday afternoons. Book club will also be held Wednesday mornings with Ms. Thomas and Ms. Lewis. Please see them for more details regarding book club. Morning sessions will run from 7.40 to 8.40, and morning sessions will run from... Sorry, morning sessions will run from 7.40 to 8.40, and afternoon sessions will run from general dismissal to 5.15. If you plan on attending any morning sessions, please arrive by 7.50 at the latest. So an adult is at the front doors to let you in. Otherwise, the doors will be remain, remain locked until morning arrival time. Please reach out to Ms. Hoskins in the Explorer pod with any questions. Eighth grade students, if you are interested in learning about auto mechanics, aviation, digital game design, media arts, law enforcement, or fire and emergency medical services, you may want to apply to Eastside Technical Center for High School. Ms. Morris will be taking a small group of interested 8th graders to tour Eastside Tech on Wednesday, November 6th, 16th. If you are interested in attending, please see Ms. Morris in the counseling office for a permission slip. You can also sign up through the link sent to your school email address. Boys basketball, will be hosting, boys basketball will be hosting an open gym on the following dates, November 3rd, 10th, 17th, and the 22nd. Open gym times for all dates are 4.15 to 6 p.m. You must have an updated KHSAA sports physical on file to participate. Students, please stand. Teachers, please check that all students have their Chromebook and that all students are in just code. Students, at this time, please check that your phone is in, turned off and stored either in your locker, your backpack, or your pocket. And remember, here at Jesse Clark, our school-wide expectations are value self, value others, value learning, every person, every day. Have a great day, Jesse Clark.